So let's talk about some ways that we can implement family faith formation in the context of parish life. What's this going to actually look like in the parish? There are three main ways that I have seen family faith formation implemented in parishes through the years. One is just to offer family faith formation, a primary model. The second one is a supplemental model where you continue to offer your regular religious education, but you supplement it with family faith events. And the third is an alternative model where you can offer both religious education classes and faith formation programming and let families choose which one they want. So let's go through some pros and cons of each. For the primary model, where the parish decides to make a complete switch to family faith formation, the pro, one good thing about this model is that you're just focusing in on one program. All of your time and energy and effort and volunteer manpower can go to that one program, and that is really big. Something that is not so good about primary the primary model is that inevitably some families are not going to want to shift to this kind of programming and you're inevitably going to lose some. This feels awful and it's really hard, but there are some good ways to handle the situation that benefit everybody. The next model, the supplemental model, is where you offer really regular religious education programming, and then intersperse family faith events throughout the calendar year. The goal here may be to just offer it this way all the time with regular RE and supplemental programming, or it might be to slowly transition to a family faith formation only model and that is a pro. It's If you choose to do it that way, it's a gradual change and people are going to be much more open to it as they gradually see how it impacts their lives and um, strengthens their families. But a con to this approach is that it is a lot of work. It is not sustainable unless you have a large volunteer force and it can potentially not work for the long term in that case. The last model is the alternative model. And here you're offering both religious education and family faith formation and families are getting to choose. And that is the pro for larger parishes that can pull this off. That's a wonderful thing for families to be able to decide which model best fits their family schedule. Um, and you might even have some families that go back and forth year to year between the two based on what they have going on at home. But again, the con is it is a lot of work and you need a large number of volunteers. You need to be prepared to wear many hats if this is what you choose. There are necessarily a myriad of variations for each model. Every parish has different needs and desires and restrictions that are going to point you to one direction or the other. Um, one suggestion I have for you is to go check out some websites online, and I have three listed up here. The parishes do this so differently from one place to the next, and you can get great ideas from looking to see what's going on in other parts of your area and other parts of our country and the world. So check that out and good luck to you trying to decide which family faith formation model is gonna work best at your parish. However that looks for you, I pray for your success. May God bless you and your program.